Hi there. Many of you will already know that I've done a video um, regarding how I set my solar panel up. Well, it's been a couple of months and I've added a couple of attachments to the uh, to the solar setup. And uh, we'll show you uh, what, what's been going on and uh, what's changed. So I'll, I'll give you a quick run through of how I've set my solar panel up. So for a 100 watt solar panel, uh, tied onto the, the shed roof, um, it feeds into the shed. Uh, the positive and negative it loops into the the solar controller um, and as you can see uh, it, it's not the best of days but the, for weather wise there's not much sun in fact there's zero sun so it's a very cloudy overcast cast day but yet it's still um, taking in solar charge so it's just trickle charging the battery there um, the, the, the battery lights flashing there so the positive and negative comes out and it, it links up to the battery uh, that's a 75 amp hour battery and um, at the moment I haven't had the need to um, link the second battery up which which will give it the capacity of 150 watt um, amp hour sorry so I haven't had the need to do that yet but uh, it, it, it does give us the option of um, of expanding the, the the amount of charge that I can that I can hold so I've got the positive and negative coming out of the um, the solar controller which links into me sort of junction box um, and what I've added on there is uh, a fuse just in case um, it gets, gets a surge or anything like that so that's that's the first junction box and I've got loops coming out of each one to, to tie off to um, the polytunnels and the greenhouses so the first one comes off and it links into the lights Nice shiny LED lights produces more than enough light to work in the shed and off again. Um, so it goes out of the shed. Um, as I see, I've got two now which come out of the shed. They run along the fence. Um, one goes through into that polytunnel and one goes into the greenhouse. Um, I'll stop the camera and I'll show you the one in the greenhouse. So now in the greenhouse, um, so this is, this is the in feed here. And that feeds into a, a small junction box. I've just opened it up there. Um, one feeds to the light, which is just a small LED light, something out of the shed. And the other ties out to a uh, USB charger, which um, controls the fan. Um, as you can see, it's working there, but the fan's just decided to pack in this morning, so um, I'll need to order a new one there. Um, what, what I'm thinking about doing in the greenhouse is... Um, making some kind of uh, aquaponic or hydroponic setup uh, just a home built one just to feed me tomato plants um, and maybe a few chilies just a, a new way of growing things um, you know I'll, I'll be using the probably the air pot system uh, for, for the growing in the hydroponic so air pots are the way forward uh, really good root system on them so I'll be using them for, for the hydroponics so that's it, that's it in the greenhouse for the minute. Um, I'll take it into the, the polytunnel and I'll show you the setup in there. So that's polytunnel number one. Um, and what I've got in there is uh, just an LED light and I've got the capacity to um, put a 12 volt water pump system in there, um, which I'll be doing over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'll, I'll do a little bit of an update on that one, just as and when I get it sorted. Um, but in polytunnel number two, um, I've just put uh, a high low temperature um, thermostat in and it runs off uh, this is the temperature probe here it comes out up and over the polytunnel and it controls a, a 12 volt ceiling fan um, they're impossible to get for love no money in the UK um, everything's imported uh, I ordered three from China they didn't arrive um, and I had to pay a little bit extra to get a one from uh, the states. It come nice and quick, so and it, it it works a treat. So I'll I'll turn it on. And I'll uh, I'll show you how I show you how it works. It's one of the best things I've bought in my garden, um, just for controlling the temperature. So I'll reduce the temperature down. So it's sitting at twelve at the moment. And that's it on there. So as soon as it triggers the air, uh, the high temperature, it flicks on. 
and when it hits back down to the low temperature it um it turns back off again so nice and simple easy little setup uh you can't go wrong with them really so that's the uh that's a solar setup just a quick quick update as to um what's changed over the last uh couple of weeks nice and simple any questions just feel free to uh, put them in the comments box below don't forget to subscribe cheers